so we're going to be starting with the match against Spurs. I'm going straight into the match to start this episode because I actually already started the episode, but I completely forgot that I was not recording. Well, I pressed the button, but it didn't start recording. I don't know why that's the case. But we did win our match against Fulham, the one I simulated 3 1. I don't know why these things keep happening to me. I'm so sorry about that, guys. But um, I mean, we're going to start the match now. Let's hope that we can get another win. West Ham is still on top of the league, and um, Arsenal is right where I actually want to be. Okay, Haaland, nice. No, it doesn't work out. Let's get this to Foden. Please do not let him shoot, no matter what you do. That's a good... Nice. Okay, but Foden didn't make a very good header there. I don't know why he was trying to go for Haaland. That was like the toughest decision. I can't believe I actually went and did that. That is crazy. But we almost just conceded a penalty there. I can't believe I actually did that. <laughs> okay. Nice. Foden. I don't know why I... I don't know why that pass goes like that. That is so frustrating. I know a lot has happened so far. But we're looking to be in a good position. But that is a... I mean, the pass... The idea was nice. Just that he wasn't able to exec execute the pass perfectly. That was not very good from Kabori. Okay, nice. Get this out to me. Can I get this to Foden? I can't and uh, shit, he gets blocked. That's a really good cross. A really, really good cross, actually. But I think I would like to get on Haaland's head here. Please score it. I don't know. I think it was too high for him. He wasn't able to get above the ball. But I mean, it was a relatively good corner. All right, so the way that things have been going so far, I have a feeling that we might win this match. We're just having a really slow start like we always do. Oh my God. Please don't let me jinx that. Jeez. Okay, Holland. Oh shit, 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 shit. I don't know why he took so much time with the pass, man. All right, to Javi. Kabore, Foden. This gets out wide and what the hell was that pass? Come on. All right, so it's almost um, half time and we still haven't scored. I mean, we've had a couple more advances on goal in general, but we just haven't been able to like make any sensible shots on goal or anything like that. None of the, both of the teams haven't, but this would be the best chance. And of course they blew it right then and there. So that's the end of the first half. Moving on to the second half now, that is pretty much where we shine. So I hope that that is going to be the case. Oh no, oh no. Alright, that's a good save from Ederson. I was I was caught daydreaming there. I was, I was completely daydreaming, to be honest. Uh, <clears throat> please don't let them score. Alright, so the defense is doing relatively well to keep these guys in, the, in, in their pocket. I spoke too soon because that is just bullshit. I honestly cannot understand for the life of me why Pep keeps playing this Kabore guy over Yankoto. Because he's just giving me unnecessary high blood pressure for some reason. Alright, that was the first chance. It was kind of, I mean, the header I, I made was kind of anticlimactic. I should have just let them pass the Haaland there. Oh well. Alright, so, shit. I mean, we could have, I don't even understand how we don't end up with the ball there. That is so annoying. But anyway, Kabori has actually done really well. He has made a couple good runs. And that is another good, good stop from him, by the way. All right, so we have a possibility of a counter-attack here. So hopefully, oh my God. How the hell does whoever that person is that was an, at the front post miss the ball completely? He didn't even try to head it. That's how crazy it is. Please... Oh my god, oh my god, that was the easiest freaking pass. And the thing is, I called for a, a, a lob. I don't understand. I don't understand why he played it on the ground, to be honest. Alright, I'm really hoping that this match doesn't end in another draw, because that is going to be very, very annoying. Alright, Guardio, see you. Nice. Not going to do much with that. Oh, for the, oh my god. Oh my god, I already pa- Fucking hell, man. I called for the pass before the ball got to Foden. That would have been the goal. I actually- I possibly just fucked this match up. Because of my impatience. Get this out of me. Thank you. 
Nice. All right, can we get on our bike here? Gives to Holland, and it doesn't it doesn't reach him yet again. That pass, I don't I don't understand why I don't have that pass in the bag. All right, so we have. It's something outside. I was oh, I was outside. I was actually onside. All right, so we have possibly one more chance if we can get the ball from these guys immediately, which I highly doubt with this game being the way it is. Oh, we actually do. We actually do. Holland, hold the ball, please. Oh my god. Um, someone please help me. Oh my god, that's that's just the end, isn't it? That's just the fucking end. What the hell was that pass? We draw against Spurs. It's not the match that I would have liked us to have, to be honest, because we could have done so much better in this match. We could have done so much better. I mean, we didn't even get up to a 7-point match rating, if I'm, all, if I'm all wrong. We got a 7.2. I don't know what the hell. I don't know why we have slowed down. This is not how to get the freaking Ballon d'Or, to be honest. I don't know why we have slowed down in the full matches. I mean, we're doing really well in the playable highlights-ish. That's if the game doesn't fuck us up. And then the simulations, obviously, we're doing well. But then the full matches itself, I don't understand what the hell I'm playing, to be honest. All right, so let's show you guys. Let me show you guys what happened. So we played the match against Fulham. We won that 3-1, as you can see. Uh, we scored a brace in that match. And we are currently the top scorer. At the beginning, we were joint top scorer with um, Trossard and Taliska on 9. But now we have two extra goals from the um, brace that we scored um, against Fulham. So now we're 11 and we're the top scorer. And then we have 23 goals in 23 appearances. In total, 11 in 14 in the Premier League and 7 in 4 in the Champions League, which is absolutely crazy. But up next though, we have the match against Bournemouth. I don't think I need to train either ways because I mean our thing is still up there. Premier League Player of the Month award goes to Zan, found that cheering and wishing for many more trophies on the mantle. We've actually had a lot of Player of the Month. You know, I'm actually kind of curious to see how many we have had. I don't think we can actually see it all at once though. We've had seven teams of the week. I don't believe that. I really don't believe that. Just seven. Are you crazy? We've got Player of the Month three times what that doesn't even make any sense all right so this season 2024-2025 in leverkusen we got um two player of the month 2025-2026 we got seven player of the month 2026-2027 we got three so what is it telling me i have three overall that is crazy we have we have one league title two domestic cups here yeah, that's the two day of people calls that we won no european trophies that is continental cups None of that. Why is player of the month 3 and 0? I don't understand that. That is weird. But anyways, we have 116 goals in 102 matches. 33 assists. That is nice. But as for this match against Bournemouth, we're at home. So we're going to be simulating the match. And hopefully we win it. We don't. We draw another match. What the f- oh, We're back down to 8th. I don't- I'm actually lost. I'm actually so lost. West Ham did lose their match. So they're on 33 points. So there's just um, 2 wins. They're just two wins away from us. So from first to eighth, the gap isn't really that much. It's just six points, which gives me a lot of hope because we can actually redeem ourselves. I hope that match against um, Bournemouth shouldn't have gone the way it did. And God, that is so annoying that it went the way it did. But Manchester City and Barcelona are on 15 points each. I would like to top the group, even though it's not really important if you do or not. I don't think you get anything for doing that to be honest so i'm going to i mean i still want to regardless i believe my player's birthday conrad Zan's birthday is in a couple days chill it's um december 17 all right so it's after the match against norwich so it's still quite a ways away but right now we have the match against fc porto they're going to be a tough side but we're going to be playing the highlights for this match so if you're enjoying the video so far make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already finally we're going with a really good team Mantini is a new player at the team, obviously, so let's hope that... I think I should have changed the kit. But I saw that today, but I don't think it's going to be that bad, because their blue is kind of, like, deeper. Like, the Chelsea blue. So I don't really think I should have anything to worry about, to be honest. But, Porto is a really tough team defensively, and I have not really been at my best in recent matches. Like, in the matches that I actually do play, I don't know what the hell I'm going through in life that's making that the case. But... Let's hope that we can get a win here against FC Porto. The, the um, difference isn't that bad. Alright, the first order of business is a counter-attack. 
and I believe that um, that is nice. Can I score this? The triple does doesn't work out. Maybe this one will. It doesn't. I didn't even call for that pass though. But I mean, we still we still ended up with the ball there. That's the crazy thing. But we are looking. I don't know if Haaland is the best option here because he's quite far from the post though. But he's probably going to like run inside. I I would hope. It doesn't even get to him. But Guardio does get a header on that. That is good. But I mean, he doesn't score. I'm gonna lose the ball. Next up, we have a free kick in a very very interesting position very very interesting position i would like to go far post but i can't exactly um control holland right now so i'm just going to go for this and hope that it works out the way i want it to first free kick maybe the keeper makes here another save Bardio makes another header but it doesn't nothing comes of it really it's still zero zero i'm hoping it stays this way we have a counter attack and you see, I don't understand why the hell we actually can't, like, run past um, the defenders. Like, I don't actually understand how that works. Because my player is, like, has 95 pace or something like that. But I find it difficult to run past the defenders. They always catch up with me. And I don't understand how that works. I don't understand how that works. I don't understand why that is a thing. But this might be our goal. And of course, we don't score it, but Foden does get the goal that is more important. Next up, we have a counter or that a normal attack. And I think Haaland will be in on goal here. Oh, God. And the thing is, that I got the ball back. But I mean, they don't really care if that happens or not. All right, so Foden, you are in a good position. I'm going to give this to you immediately. I'm going to give it back to me. And I'm going to try and score. Doesn't work out. I think that's the end of the match. I hope we do win it. Yeah, we do. All right, so if Odin does get the goal, that is good for him. I would have liked to score in every single one of my Champions League matches, but sadly, that is not going to be the case. I didn't even notice that my hair was such a mess. Sorry about that, I guess. But anyways, I don't know what the hell is going on. We have the match against Liverpool next, and I swear to God, I'm actually really, really stressed in real life. So maybe that is like protruding. I don't know if that's the word. I don't know if that's getting into my game or something. Because, man, it's crazy that I haven't scored an actual goal, like playable highlights or the normal full matches that I play. But we have to train for this one because our manager rating is actually going down. It's time to celebrate for Christmas. He's not ready for that yet. Manager, poor manager performance. I and mean, we did win our match. But, I mean, I mean, he hasn't really been doing well in the in the Premier League. But we have a match against Real Madrid. Sorry, against Liverpool this time. And I'm about to change the kits. I actually like these kits on Conrad. It looks good on him. But we're going to be changing to our home kit because it's against Liverpool and, you know, it's a really interesting clash. So let's hope that we score a goal this match. And more importantly, let's hope that we win it because we haven't won a Premier League match in a while. And I would like to close the gap as fast as possible. Wait, so let me check what the gap actually is right now. Okay, yeah, it's still the same. So no one has played yet. We'll be playing soon. So, I mean, we have to win this match. Liverpool is in fourth. But sure, let me go back to the table. I didn't see how many points Liverpool is on. Um, Liverpool is on 31 points. So if we win this match, we're still not going to get ahead of them either ways. We're going to get ahead of Aston Villa, Spurs and Brighton if they lose their matches though. And I really hope that that is going to be the case. All right, we're well, supposed to get an 8.5 match rating. Take three shots on target and avoid losing the match, which I am going to do. It's a derby. It's a really, really tough match. And I forgot to change the kit back. Great. <laughs> god i i need to check myself for adhd to be honest because my attention span goes like so quick and i didn't even notice that i was with the ball there nice Haaland, please score this thank you all right so finally we make a difference in the match finally and he goes and hits the board that's actually really good because i wasn't even paying attention when that happened i just saw that the pass was on and well really good to pick out Haaland there a really good goal to start the match all right so they're looking really dangerous here and i really hope that our defense will actually be able to hold this liverpool team so Salah, Salah is still in liverpool though. that is a good thing javi all right nice Foden. oh crap oh crap that made no sense i swear to god that made no sense because i told Foden to pass me that ball i don't understand what the fuck happened there nice all right Haaland, i see you please tell me that you score this obviously you're not going to makes no sense man god i mean i don't understand I, I feel like my team i feel like the the game nerfs your team so hard 
Haaland, I think that's offside. Sadly, yeah, he's offside. All right, guys, help me out here. Do not let Liverpool back into this match. I know they're in their home stadium, but I believe that we can we can get ourselves the win. Oh, they didn't please score this, and nah, it doesn't, it doesn't work out. It was a really good run for my player to get past all those defenders there. Oh, that is such a good pass, but it was offside. That is actually such a beautiful pass. All right, so the ball goes out to me. I mean, we were free, though. So, please, I'm already offside, I believe. I wasn't, and that is not a very good pass, actually. Okay, Javi. I see you. Please score this. Give me another assist. Thank you. That is a second assist in this match. If I can't score goals, I mean, I, the best I can do is assist, right? And that is a really, really good goal from, from Javi Simmons there. Really good from us to pick him out. And, well, I don't think Big was ever going to get that. I mean, that was a rocket in the top right corner. Oh, no. Please don't let him score this. Oh, my God. Oh, I cannot believe. I cannot believe he actually saved that. That is insane. All right. Defensive duties, guys. Come on. You got this. brilliant all right so i mean the the clearance was kind of stupid but all right that's nice that is nice brilliant holland i see you can you score you do and that is a hat trick of assist from conrad zan that is such a good cross from him to pick out holland's head and man that is such a good header from holland the keeper had no chance with that Look at that. The curve on it. I mean, Alan has to, had to adjust himself a bit. It was a little bit... I, I could have put it like a little bit in front of him, but... That is such a good goal. Alright, 3-0 before halftime. And we have three assists. Haaland. Out to me. Can I get myself a goal here? It's looking like I can. I do. And finally, I score. Finally, I score. Jesus. Three assists and a goal before the first half is over is crazy. I could have caught inside here, but I mean, I don't have enough faith in my right foot anymore. So, <laughs> so cutting inside is like, a, it's going to be a rarity now. But I think that's the end of the first half. It should be ending anytime soon. There you have it. All right, so... We've had a really good first half of the match. This is the best first half I have ever had since I started this series, to be honest. All right, Liverpool is on the attack, and I, I believe that our defense should have this covered. I, I would like to hope so. I would like to hope that they have this covered, so you guys, come on. Do not do not mess me up here. Okay, that's offside. All right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. All right, that's good from Ruben Diaz. Come on, guys. Do not even waste time here. At all, Vardio, nice. Brilliant. Okay. Kill all of them. Cut inside again. And that worked out. Um okay, so I'm I'm lost, basically. I swear to go, there's something actually wrong with this game, I'm not going to lie. Well, that is my cue to leave the match. We are going to be coming off for who exactly? Savinio, of course, that is who we're coming off for. 10 point match rating this match, and that is one more skill point to add to our, to our player. We're going to simulate the rest of the match, and we win it 4 0. No other goals were scored, though. Lami Yamal came up for Pudu. I actually forgot that that guy is still in this team. That is crazy how the game would just nerf somebody like that. I mean, because. Um, he's not going to play because Foden is like a lot higher than him in terms of rating. But anyways, I don't really care for him to be honest. All I care about my, is my player right now. And uh, I think we can actually do the um, Christmas thing. The Christmas, no we can't, it's in one day. Let's just um, advance a little bit. I'm actually curious to see where we are in the table after that win. I think we should be like 6th highest. But we can actually look at it here, can't we? Can't we? It's not showing for some reason. Alright, so the Christmas thing, let's celebrate that real quick. I'm going to do, you make the biggest bid for sports memorabilia because I'm trying to get my Maverick things up to 50%. Celebrities flock to the Christmas charity gala including Zan who helps with the prize giving. Alright, that is cool. Good for them. Um, before I forget, I need to allocate a skill point to my player. Alright, short pass and long pass to finally get them up to 99. So I might want to do that just for the sake of it. Penalties, this will get penalties to 99 indefinitely. Getting accuracy. 
penalties all right so this is actually really crazy we're like i think we can actually get to 99 with this player but well, i'm going to be working on the long pass or short pass so we get those to 99 we're slowing 96 which is good okay <laughs> Uh, I don't even know why I'm happy that we're not... I mean, I'm happy. I don't really want to be um, growing that fast anymore because 96 is crazy for an 18-year-old, to be honest. We're going to be 17 in the coming... in the next day. And let's hope that we advance to the next... Okay, yeah, we do. We score in the Carabao Cup again, and we are through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. I think we're now going to be in the quarterfinals, if I'm not wrong. Semi-finals. That was the, that was the quarterfinals that we just won. So we're going to begin Arsenal in the in the um, semi-finals, and we're probably going to be playing um, Cardiff or Spurs in the finals if we win the match against Arsenal, which I really, really hope we do. I can't remember if we beat them already this season. I don't think we did. But let's look at the Premier League table real quick. We are seventh position. I would have liked it to be better to be honest but West Ham did lose here another match so Arsenal and Manchester United are level on points with them this is actually a really really close title race we're already almost like at the half stage of halfway stage of the season just two more matches I believe that we should win this match against Bournemouth and we should win the match the next match against Brighton so that will take us 36 points and if these teams ahead of us do not um, win their matches we might actually be at the summit come the end of this video so i really hope that that is going to be the case because being just three points behind first place where we're in seventh is crazy our goal difference isn't really what it should be but let's hope that we can win this match against Burnley. but i think it's my player's birthday today and now that i think about it we actually did get our nike contract on our birthday last year so um it was a one-year contract so we're going to be renewing the, the nike contract yet again and you know they're going to give me access to a couple more boots and i'm going to make a selection out of the ones that we currently have and i think i already have one in mind though uh have i passed it already it's not these ones but those ones are also really nice. I'm going to put those in mind. The Mbappe one is actually pretty cool as well. But I think I might actually settle for this one, the Superfly Elites. I actually really like the color scheme of these. I mean, the white, the pink, the lemon green. Marcus Rashford boots. Yes, I didn't even know that. <laughs> but I mean, it looks it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. So I think I'm going to be settling with this. Let's move on. I can only hope that we win this match against... Um, Burnley because I swear to god if we do not if we do not win this match against Burnley I am going to be so pissed off because I mean we're talking about Burnley here freaking Burnley we have to win it no matter what we do it was really close but we do we score we get another brace so we are doing really well in the simulations I think it's because we're a 96 rated player and our attacking position is through the roof but we get yet another man of the match award that is that is interesting that is good so i wonder where we are at the table though i mean we still have nottingham forest oh i forgot that we still have this before the match against brighton so i'm going to be simulating this one as well and i really hope that we do get a win here which we do do we score yes we do we score along with Haaland in this match he got a goal really late so i mean that that was really good but next up though we have the match against brighton we are currently fifth position that means the teams ahead of us have been doing really well i mean it's going to be tough but i believe that we might actually be drawn on points with a couple teams if i'm not wrong we are on 39 points though and we're 36 points and west ham how the hell did west ham get that far ahead what the fuck all right so they haven't they've won every single match in the last match we played so we are we have a game at hand here that's the next match against brighton so we will get to 30 oh my god every single one of those teams actually won their matches that is crazy that is fucking okay manchester united lost because they're back down to fifth well then so i believe this match is going to be a must win for us we absolutely have to win it we're going with our best team i believe i don't know if vermirian is the best player in that position in the team i don't know but i believe that this is the best team that manchester city has to offer so and we're jumping into the match against brighton and i hope that we can bring in our superb performance to get liverpool into this match and get a win the team is kind of the team is kind of stacked ish not as stuck as our team though obviously but we're supposed to get an 8.5 match rating dribble success rate of at least 30 percent and get a cross success rate of at least 30 percent our crossing is actually really good so that shouldn't be a problem so i mean I'm, i want to focus on assisting and if we get a goal then all the better for us to be honest
Nice. I really was expecting to. Can I score this? We are injured and I don't know why we're injured to be honest. I hope that we can walk that off because if we can't, that is going to be annoying. But first goal with an injury and <laughs> that, is and that is adrenaline for you. We started the match. We immediately won the ball or that um, we won a really, really a 50-50 um, kind of thing. We got injured. We got back up and we scored a goal. That is actually a really good pass from Foden if you think about it. And I think that is a leg injury. Let's stand still for a bit. Yeah, it is. I just hope that it's not that bad. That's a good save from Ederson. And please get this to me or not. Nice. Okay, we're actually doing really well. Foden. Haaland, that is brilliant. That is brilliant, but he's offside. Shit. I'm sure it was really fucking close. That is such a good header. No, you have to be kidding me. His freaking foot. I don't think um, the hand counts because it's not a part of the, of the body that you can play with. Nice. Please tell me we got this. And that is yet another really good shot, but it was a really good block as well. I think our... Oh yeah, so our injury is gone. It was just a knock. Can we get this? Oh, I mean, it was close at this time. I mean, it was wide, so it wasn't close at this time. But I mean, I really, really like the fact that we can actually do that. Nice. All right, let's see if we can advance here. Haaland. We can't get the pass out to me. All right, that is, that is cool. That is not good, but it's a really good save from whoever that was. That was a really clutch defensive movement. And well, let's see what we can do here. My player is actually just crazy fast. I think that's offside. Of course it is. My player is just crazy fast sometimes, man. Like his speed is actually insane. All right, so we have a possible chance for a counter if the ball can get to us, which I hope it does. It doesn't. That's a good chance from Todibo. But yeah, sadly, we can't get the counter attack that I was actually looking for there. So I think this is our ball. Holland, please. Thank you. I think that should be spot on. Oh my god. Oh my god. He did not just do that. He did not just. Was that a chance on goal or a pass? Was that a chance on goal or a pass? What the fuck? Brother, I think I think that was a pass. That is just crazy. Alright, second half just started. We have the only goal in the match. Our match rating is 7.8. And I hope. Oh my god. I mean, I mean, I, I gave him. All the time in the world to do that to make the pass back to me but i mean look at what he did nice that is the second time i'm doing a skill like that but can we javi nice i mean we're still ending up with the ball though and brilliant Foden or Haaland, maybe nobody and i completely messed that up like <laughs> insanely but it was a good run though Let's make sure that we do not concede. I mean, I have no say in the matter, but I mean, we're looking at a possible counter-attack here. So I really hope that our defenders can get ahead on this and, and send the ball to me ASAP. All right, all right, all right, Edison, come on, come on, thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? That makes no sense. Okay, out to Holland. I think this might be a good chance for us here. And why the hell do they have to stop before they make a freaking pass? Blood. I'm offside, right? Of course I am. Let's go out wide to Vardio. Nice. Holland, please score this. Assist for me. Thank you. And that is the second goal for this match. That is a goal and an assist for us. And that is brilliant. All right, so I believe that we should be winning this match from now on. We have a goal at hand. And all right, it goes out for a throwing or a corner, I'm not sure. All right, so we are going off here. Okay, that was quite quick. Um, simulate the rest of the match. 
and i hope we win the match 2-1 they do score so i'm really really happy that um Haaland got that last goal we actually <laughs> we actually scored really really early in the match that's two minutes in the match against the rapport we actually assisted that quick as well if i'm all wrong that was actually crazy but next fixture is going to be against west ham who are currently in first position we have shot all the way up to second though that is crazy so if we win the next match against west ham in the next episode then we are going to be first on the table no we're not because of goal difference unless we score more than three goals like three nil a three goal deficits that will that will make us be on top of the table but conrad didn't start this episode well but he finished really well the match against liverpool was really good three assists and one goal then the match against um brighton a goal and assist as well so we are on 29 goals in 30 games i think we have dropped down yeah we have obviously because i mean with this episode the beginning wasn't the best but we're able to catch up a bit so 16 goals in the premier league seven goals in the champions league we haven't scored in that yet i think we have two more matches before we move to the knockout stages of the champions league so we have done really well so um, thank you for watching if you have enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already turn on post notifications so you've been notified on when i drop new videos I drop FC25 content every day. So um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.